Oh, what's going on, y'all? Um, I'm just about to clock out. For work. Did a little 9 to 3.30 today, which it is quarter to four right now, so I gotta hurry up. I always take a long time cleaning up and clocking out and stuff, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Yeah, in case you don't know what my shirt said, it says, don't believe me. But that don't mean nothing. Uh, right now, your boy worked hard for two days. Today is Wednesday. And I don't go back to work again doing hair until today's Wednesday. I don't go back again till next week, Tuesday. I'm on some part-time right now until things get a little bit more busy. But um, while I'm on that part-time, I could always drive for Uber or Lyft in between. You always gotta be prepared. You can't always just sit back and wait for somebody to control what type of money you make or don't make. So, um, yeah man, your boy, because I am here, and because of where I'm at, which is paradise, I decided to just go ahead on and to my, to my girl, AKA your girl, until she gets home, I'm getting ready to go ahead and take a little dippy poo in the pool. Now normally, for me to walk this far right where I'm getting ready to walk right now, it's a matter of walking maybe one block. Hi. <laughs> my neighbors. My neighbors, we love each other. Hi. So, um, it's always a matter of, oh, it's a matter of walking a half of a New York block because they say a New York block is real long. So, you guys know what I look like. Let me show you where I'm going right now. This is my little walkie walk. It's a little hunted. It's a little easy, easy breezy hunted and something degrees out here right now. It might be a good 110 today. Perfect time to jump in the pool and relax a little bit. I keep on thinking about that condo that I went to with me and Pops the other day. Look at that. No glassware allowed in the pool. No glassware. I don't drink anyway. Yeah, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. To, to the beach, y'all. Freak, freak, y'all. You don't stop. I said the hip, hop, the hip, it, the hip, it, the hip, hip, hop. You don't stop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got something else to say. I really don't know. But let me get back to you in a minute. And I can think about what else I had to tell y'all. I'm just so dumbfounded by the beauty. I say I'm dumbfounded by, not by the booty, but by the beauty. I'm dumbfounded. Yeah, so right now, I'm sitting in the jacuzzi. And there is, it is hot. It's already hot outside. And then these bubbles on the jet stream hit me with the jacuzzi. 
sometimes you gotta get that warm bath water on you so that you can just relax the muscles. I feel like going to sleep right now. Well, what if I doze a little bit? I fell asleep. Um, yeah, what was I saying? I don't know, man. Um, oh, so yeah, when when the what? Let me explain. The other day, not the other day, but like last year, a year ago, this time, it was summertime, so I wasn't really as stressed and pressed and all that stuff. But I did want to make my move up out of here. Not here where I'm at, but out of um, New York. And so I was, you know, I was thinking. I made my plan. I said, you know, I got to make a little plenty plan. Sometimes you can't just go right here and right now. But you got to plan it out. So I worked literally three jobs. Three jobs. And I went real, real hard. I made sure that I still went out. I still had a good time. I didn't overly expend. My girl was like, why are we going out so much? I'm like, I'm working mad overtime, son. And I got three jobs. So I'm working overtime on one of them. One uh, was my own business doing hair, people's hair. And then another one was, you know, just working regular hours. So I was killing them, killing the hours. The checks was looking crazy in a good way. So... <laughs> oh, I fell asleep again, y'all. Oh, man, fell asleep. My bad. Um, this warm jacuzzi water with the bubbles, jet stream, and everything. But um, I made my plan. So I worked real hard. People could not understand how I was doing it. Like on my night job, I was able to catch a little Z's or whatever the case. And with the Z's that I was able to do. I was able, to, like, I ain't sleep all the time, but once in a while, you know, I would catch a little nappy nap. So I was just like really going hard, going in. I was beat, but for a whole year, I went hard, saved my money, and I was ready to make my move. So sometimes we gotta fall back, and we gotta make a plan and execute that plan and just stick to it, man. Like, it ain't no joke. Like, by any means necessary, you gotta make it happen because don't worry about what's going on right now or 30 to 60 to 90 days from now. But look at what's going to happen next year at this same time. Where are you going to be at next year at this same date? I look on Facebook. I like to post a lot of things. And some people have problems with how much I post, how much I do videos and talk about my life and share different things. But I could care less about what anybody thinks because at the end of the day, for one thing, it's a personal vlog for myself. I want to be able to look back and reflect on things. And for the next thing, I like to sit back, like, you know how with Facebook, how they say, oh, this is a memory that you shared on this day a year ago, on this day, two, three, four, five, ten years ago, whatever. And I like to look back and say, dang, I was doing that. I wonder what would have known that I would have been doing this like a year or two ago from now. Like, I was doing something totally different, was in something totally... <laughs> Keep falling asleep, man. But boy, sleepy behind this relaxing jacuzzi. But anyway, so yeah, man, what I'm basically saying is you got to make a plan. You got to devise that plan and stick with it. Ain't nothing matter, matter with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to enjoy this hot bubbling water, which feels so relaxing. It's almost like a wet steam room effect. You know how steam room is so hot. You got you sweating and all that's not. Well, the jacuzzi... It's nice and hot, and it's relaxing. And once I end up going into the jacuzzi, then um, then I'll jump in the pool and you know get a little bit of cooling off and relaxation on that. Mm. 
I said, uh, 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 what was I talking about? I don't know. I'll get back to y'all. Yeah, y'all. This pool is not cold. It's not too warm. It feels so... It's like a nice cool down. You know what I mean? It's a nice cool down. I mean... Keep falling. Keep falling asleep. Bye bye. Uh, man, I forget what I'm saying. But uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. The whole point of this video is I would not be doing this in Jersey or New York. And yes, people do have pools. Look at that wasp. That wasp is on top of the water getting this drink on right now. Y'all probably can't see it. I'm scared to get any closer. But um, he's getting his drinky drink on. He can't drink but so much. What's he going to do? Drink the whole pool? Look at him. Now, now he's out. I say now he's out. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah, so I wouldn't be able to do this in Jersey or New York. And, yes, they do have pools and things over there. But the thing is, for you guys that are saying, I'm doing the same thing right now. I could go to the pool. Yeah, okay, you can go to the pool. But in October, November, December, January, February, March, can you go to the pool where well, your boy going to be in the pool all year long. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Uh, keep falling asleep in this piece. Um, excuse me. So yeah, I could go. I could be in the pool all the time. Twelve months out of the year, y'all. Even when it's thunder and lightning, I'm gonna do a video when it's thunder and lightning, and I'm in the pool. And right now, I'm looking at a firefly that's flying around above the pool here. But y'all know, who know me, I am scared of bugs, y'all. And he may not be thinking about me, but I'm thinking about him. Hummingbird just flew past. Yeah, but no, there ain't no lot of bugs out here. There ain't no whole bunch of, there ain't no mosquitoes, none of that. <coughs> like, it is noise out here. And... Like I'm saying, for me to be able to walk out and have this luxury to be able to do this at well, it's just amazing. So if you have that luxury, then that's cool. If you don't want to do this, that's cool also. But I'm just trying to explain that I always wanted this. I always wanted to be able to walk outside and jump into my own person. Like, this is not my personal pool. But you guys see me in the pool many times. Ain't nobody out here. This is just like my own personal pool, man. What difference do it make? I'm having a ball. <clears throat> Ain't even nobody out here making no noise, no nothing. This is on a regular basis. So if they want to have this pool and make it my own personal, thank you. I said thank you. But, um, yeah, so like I said, I'm living my dream. Don't be jealous or nothing like that. Don't y'all dare be jealous. Because, like I said, I'm trying to put you on. Anybody can make their life what they want to be. Like, at the end of the day, and this is very important here, you have to make yourself happy. Nobody else can make you happy. Now, somebody can make you miserable, but it's really up to yourself to make yourself happy. So, at the end of the day, if you're not happy, you can't make the next person happy. So, make sure you make yourself happy first. 
Don't be living pleasing somebody else and you can't enjoy life yourself. Enjoy life for you. And if somebody really loves you, then they'll fall in, you know what I'm saying? They'll fall in mind. They'll fall in place. Like, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll realize what's really the best move. Because, and also too, don't forget, you got to pray because God always opens up doors and makes it happen. And just when you, and it has to be real bad. It has to be that storm before you get that beautiful, peaceful, you know, rainbow, beautiful weather, that sunshine, and that paradise. You have to go through some stuff sometimes. And that's the challenge that we are put through out here. It's all in what you want to do. Do you want to stay miserable or do you want to go ahead and bear through that storm, have faith, have confidence? Where where your confidence at? You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to say man up. But when I say man up, I'm saying, I'm saying it's to men and women. Kids also, man up. Like, take responsibility don't let nobody hold your hand. Definitely don't let nobody hold you back. Keep your head up and go ahead and reach for the stars and get that life you want. Live that best life that you can. It's because God wants us all to have really good, learning, prosperous lives. And like I said, sometimes, you know, what you may think is the best move might not be the best move. But like I said, if you work on it, pray on it and stuff, things will fall into place and it will work out best for you. So, yeah, man, I'm just trying to give some some real motivation towards what has worked for me in the past, is working for me now, and everything. So, yeah, I'm having the time of my life right now, keeping it real, y'all. No fronting. I was totally miserable in New York. You know, I'm always a positive, happy person, but I was not happy the way I knew I could be happy. Like, I'm over the top happy. I'm over the top happy with my life. I'm so happy that my father's here. I'm so happy that, you know, I'm here with my girlfriend. I'm so happy that she's here with me. Like, we are, like, really enjoying every single day way more than what we would be if we was in New York and also to understand listen to this this is very important right here if if you are looking at the amount of money that you make wherever you're at no matter where you're at that you make a whole bunch of money wherever you're at but you're not really happy as far as the life that you're living It doesn't matter if you're making a whole bunch of money and you can't, like, living life, like, I'm not talking about going out and spending money and partying and all that stuff. I'm talking about just having a real, whatever life that you want that's, that's blissful, blissful for you. Um, Sometimes you can take a cut and pay because I'm getting paid way less. I'm not working and making as much money nowhere near, nowhere near what I was doing with my other three jobs that I had. Even if you take one of my jobs regularly. Okay. One of my jobs, okay, yeah. But the three jobs together, what I was doing, or that one job that I was doing all that overtime, I'm not making nowhere near that money. But it's so much of a better lifestyle. It's so much easier I can have and accomplish so much more here. It's kind of hard to explain. I can only just tell you that you can be making six figures, well into six figures, and not be happy living life. You can come here and make, you know, if you make like 40,000 here, you can live really good. So, you know, so if you're doing more than that, then, you know, then you're doing even better. But if you're doing anywhere near 40,000, you're doing really good. If you're making less than 40,000, 
you can still do good. You can still live out here and stuff like that. Like, life will be great. But, you know, I'm just saying, you don't have to make six figures to live here and to make it and to own things and to, you know, own a car, own a home and things like that, go on vacation and stuff like that. You don't have to, it doesn't take all that money. So, just understand, you know, everything is different. Every, every situation is different. It's, and, it's, and life is also what you make it. So, I don't know. I don't want to keep on going and rambling on and everything like that. I'm just going to go ahead and enjoy my time in the pool, y'all. I said I'm going to just enjoy my time in the pool. And y'all go ahead and think about what I said. You, you feel me? So, yeah, hit me with some comments, man. Let me know if this was good for you or not. Let me know if it was good for you or if I suck or whatever i mean i don't care whatever man just like hit me with your opinion man like you know what i'm saying holla at your boy let me know what's good so till the next time i'm gonna holla at y'all man i'm living it up right now look at this jet up here i don't know if y'all can see that it's a jet that just flew past so yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. I'm about to have a ball, man. I'm about to keep on living living the best life I can, man. And I hope the best for everybody out there, for real. It's not about bragging or nothing like that. It ain't nothing about that. This is about trying to share love with my people. And sometimes you got to really, you know, like they say, you can show them better than you can tell them. So I'm trying to do both. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to tell you. And I'm trying to look at another jet, y'all. Yeah, so that's what it is, man. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. The issues, let me tell you, some of the things that I'm glad to be away from, and some of you guys can relate, some you can't, but I was so sick and tired of dealing with the guys on the corner, and it wasn't like a lot of guys, and it wasn't really dangerous or anything like that, but I was tired of the guys on the corner, like, doing nothing. Like, the dudes that, the weed-smoking dudes, the guys that drink, the people who, unfortunately, you know, might have a little bit of, you know, problem where they're, you know, they might not be able to help it, but they would always be some type of troublemaker, you know, talking to people, harassing them one way or another. Um, I was tired of seeing rats all over the place. Um, in the subway, when I'm in the subway, you know, different places. Um, I was tired of the crowded subways. I was try tired of taking the subway, tired of taking the buses. I was tired of not being able to get a car. And if and when I did have my car, it would be so much of a big deal trying to park. Um, <clears throat> I was tired of the, you know, the friends that I had that were not about anything, not going anywhere in life, not helping me out and being a better person in life, you know, just by being around them and just dealing with their energy. That was like negative energy, just sucking and draining at a good brother. Um, you know, people scheming, everybody always begging and bumming for a, a buck or 50 cents or a quarter or a dime and a nickel. Um, I was tired of high prices of living, struggling, paying rent, and, you know, wanting to go out and do things and not really having um, either the time because I worked so much, I was working so much, not having time to do anything, you know, working so much and not being satisfied with my employers. Not all of them, but time to time. Out here, I don't have that problem. Um, looking at buildings surrounding me all over the place, traffic all over the place. Like, I was just tired of congestion and everything. I was tired of looking, like I say, building on top of building and not being able to see just the sky. Not being able to see any type of vegetation. 
any type of greenery. I was just tired of it. Um, I was tired of the, the New York pushing and shoving just the tolls. Like, yo, we don't pay tolls. This, like, what's a toll? That means nothing out here. Like, life is just so laid back. Like, like I say, I just extended years and years, maybe a decade or maybe even two decades on my lifespan by moving here. I might be about 150 years old, y'all, still doing my videos. So, keep watching.